let's jump in and start looking at some data. I'm going to go in and show you some of my favorite vaults. For looking. So a lot of times what I like to do is go in and use this gear icon. Once in a while, I'll zoom way out time frame wise so I can get an idea of where the harvest groups are at. Let's go ahead and say show split screen. Probably just kind of look at sensor zone averages for the most part. If I see something weird, a lot of times I'll turn on individual sensor readings, trying to make decisions as far as controls go for irrigation or controls for environment. More than one environment sensor, a lot of times I'll do room average as well. And one of my favorite features, let's dive in and look at this whole harvest group and see what we see. You know, one of the things that always catches our eyes is anomalies. And a lot of times I also like to just go in and look at um, temperature, VPD, water content, and EC as my defaults. So in this case, we can see, all right, here's where I'm at in the harvest group. Day 16 of 57 gets me an idea of where I'm going, where I'm at. We've got our lights get set. Uh, might zoom in real quick here. Sometimes I'll just verify that my light schedules are right. So let's look at lighting intensity. There we go. Pretty close. This isn't a greenhouse. So here it's coming into springtime, like 700 to 900 micromoles. That's reasonable. Let's see back off. One thing, obviously, is this y axis is going to adjust for the data. So sometimes if I need to be zoomed in a little bit more, what I can do is like grab from an area that has less dynamics, not move over, let's jump. That'll give us a tad bit more granularity on water contents and ECs. All right. So when I first start digging into data, we can immediately notice that right there is a high point in VPD. And we can see the temperature static. So what I might say is all right, what happened there to cause that change in humidity? The humidity drops fairly significantly. And obviously for indoor environments, things can look a little bit more static than this. It looks like here we had at about 10.30 a.m. That matches up with that other one. So I might have something in our control systems to check what's going on with humidity at 10.30 occasionally. Uh, a lot of times I'll go in and think about, all right, it's the 22nd of February, Monday by chance. Is this a Monday as well? It's happening. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, and this one's eight days. Um, so, probably not a weekly thing, but every once in a while that can be just an anomaly indicator. Water contents, very stable. We do just have a little bit of an interesting drop there, an interesting drop there. And that's where I might go and say individual sensor readings and see that specific sensor that's causing that, or possibly an average looks like right there. A couple of so a lot of times I'll jump in, see what we can see here. Looks like a slight increase in water content right there. Every once in a while, it might be related to something other than an irrigation itself, just if water is accumulating in there. But it looks like since two sensors are occurring, it's very likely related to some type of extra irrigation that was put on there. 